Reason is renowned for its instruments, effects, and mastering tools. In fact, in my mind, I almost think of each of these tools as real pieces of hardware that I've used over the last several years. For example, I can almost see my fingerprint smudges across the blue front plate of the subtractor, or a piece of tape on the back of Thor. These devices really are a piece of my studio. Surprisingly, a lot of people don't seem to realize that Reason and Record both allow you to continue to create your own instruments, effects, etc. through the use of a device called the Combinator. You can't have used Reason or Record for any length of time without running across the device. For example, if you create a mastering suite, this actually comes in form of a Combinator. Also, in Record, when you create a mix channel or an audio track, these are derivatives of the Combinator and work much the same way. So at this point, you may be asking yourself, really? So what is the Combinator? Well, for starters, the Combinator really isn't just an instrument and it really isn't an effects processor. It's really just a container at the heart of it. If you were to go and open up a Combinator, you'd be greeted by another Reason Rack within the Combinator. So think of it also as something akin to a Reason Rack within a Reason Rack, etc. Well, if this is the case, why isn't it called the Rackinator or some other nonsense? Well, the Combinator still justifies it. The Combinator, and this is why you really want to spend some time with it, allows you to combine multiple instruments, effects, even whole performances of your own. And then, through the use of its very clever programmer, you can adjust and fine-tune the behavior of each device within it. Starting to get the picture now? The course you've begun watching is devoted entirely to the use of the Combinator, how it works, what it's good for, and why, once you've learned how to use it, you may not want to use anything else. This course also takes special advantage of new devices within Reason 5 and Record 1.5 and takes advantage of the new Combinator features from Reason 5. We're going to cover making instrument patches like stack leads, pads, etc. We're going to cover making drum Combinator presets with unique functionality. We're even going to get into effects patches and then finally performance-based patches that will allow you to create new songs from only one Combinator and even more. Additionally, you'll also get a chance to learn about Reason control voltages. These are the funny little inputs and outputs on the back of all Reason devices. Believe it or not, these control voltages, or CVs, allow you to, in many cases, use each device in ways that they were not originally intended, and can broaden your horizons on Reason and record in ways you never thought possible. But before we get started, let me warn you, Making your own combinators can become just as much of a passion as creating your own music. There are infinite limits within one combinator. Also, this video series is unique in the sense that there is an included reason record refill with combinators, drum patches, rex files, and more. You will definitely want to use the patches contained within this course as we move forward, so make sure you download them if you want to follow along.